Hey friends and welcome back and welcome back to another Walgreens home. I am here to share the deals I started the week off with for the week starting on Sunday, April the 25th and ending on Saturday, May the 1st. Now before we get into the deals, just a quick FYI and some important information for you. Going into this new month of deals as well as getting into this week's deals. Now do remember that today is a new month starting at Walgreens. So that means we need to make sure that we're grabbing the new monthly booklet, which is the IVC coupons, also known as store coupons. These here can be stacked with a manufacturer coupon, and these are good for the entire month. Now, these coupons are also found on the app. However, I don't recommend that you clip them unless you're going to be doing an online order. Just because they do count into the ratio of coupons you can have clipped at one time, which is a total of 200. Now do remember if you do clip it, whenever you use it online, it is a one-time use, so once you use it, it will be gone. So this book is free to take, so just remember when you go in store to make sure that you grab um, a new monthly booklet. Now being that this is a new month of deal starting, make sure that when you're in store and you're checking out the sales tax, make note of the date to see if that particular sale price and or promotion is only valid for this week or if it is in fact a month long deal. Remember with Walgreens, deals are always on repeat, meaning you're not limited to how many times you can do any one deal. The only thing that limits you at Walgreens is if you are solely relying on digital coupons alone. And if that's the case, I recommend that you open multiple accounts. That way, when we have really high deals and high value digital coupons, you can take advantage of those deals multiple times, getting the savings, getting the products, and building up a significant stockpile. All right, another thing to make note of. Last week, we had the promotion where you purchased two participating products. You got back a $4 register reward. Now that $4 register reward was in fact a store register reward. It looks just like a regular register reward with the difference being in size and the fact that it does say store register reward. Now we earned this here from purchasing the Dove as well as other products that were part of that promotion. What you want to make sure of if you go to utilize this coupon in any transaction. This coupon well, only, well this, this register reward store coupon, you can only use one per transaction. And this coupon will come off like a threshold coupon. So it will say on the receipt $4 off a $4 purchase. So if you are using a buy one, get one free coupon, like we have here on the Gillette deodorant, and if you use that store coupon for $4 off, it will take off a little bit off of each item you're purchasing. So a little bit will come off of the Gillette. Now, why is this important? It's important because the buy one, get one coupon gives you up to $5.49 off. However, this coupon will apply to the price of the item after the store coupon is applied, okay? So just remember that this here applies like a threshold coupon as well as a percentage off coupon taking off a few dollars, few cents on each individual item in the transaction. And if you're using a buy one, get one, this coupon will only take off the amount you're actually paying after this coupon here has been applied. The same is true if you're doing a spend deal, any spend deal, spend deal on Pacific products or a spend booster. You just have to make sure that after the store coupon is applied, you're still at your required subtotal for that spend deal. So I know a lot of us had a ton of issues with this last week. I got a ton of questions on this. So I just wanted to re-clarify how these here work. I do have several videos linked in the pinned comment for you that goes into um, more detail on threshold coupons, percentage off coupons, store register rewards, and all of that there. All right, moving on. So I have, uh, I believe, four, maybe five different transaction scenarios to share with you. I'm going to go over a few issues that I had as well. And I also have a curbside order to share with you. 
Now the first thing we're going to go over is the one issue that I have. So first thing I tried to do was the buy three and you get a $5 registered reward deal. There are several different products included in this promotion and it is in fact a PNG promotion so a manufactured registered reward is printing. Again, it's by three participating products and you get a $5 registered reward. So what I did is I picked up one of the Crest toupees priced at $4. We have a digital coupon for $2 off one as well as an insert coupon for $2 off one. I picked up two of the Gillette um, deodorants priced two for 11 and I was utilizing the buy one get one coupon. I also utilized the $4 off store coupon. Now, purchase these three in one transaction. The issue is, is that my $5 register reward did not work. So at that point, I was a little stumped. The register I checked out at, I know for a fact that the Catalina machine was working as the person that checked out in front of me got a spin booster printed as well as a Catalina. So I know that the machine was working. At this point, I thought, well, maybe you cannot mix and match on this promotion. Why would that be a thing? I don't know, but it's Walgreens. It could be a thing. Moving on. So what I did at this point, set this to the side. I already did this transaction, paid for it, etc. Set that to the side. Then I went ahead and tested the deal out again, buying three of the same items. And the $5 register reward did print. Now, I did post on Instagram, the community tab, as well as Facebook, the issue that I ran into here. Several of you commented letting me know whether or not you had the same issue or whether or not your reward printed. Thank you guys so much. When you leave detailed feedback, it helps me out and it helps the community. So thank you guys for that. So a lot of you were telling me that you were able to mix and match on product and you did in fact get the register reward. I also had someone say that they tried it out at one store, the reward did not print. So then they went and tried it again at another store and the reward did print. So I'm not quite sure what was going on with that. It could have been just a misfire with the Catalina machine for me because this one here worked and my register reward is printed for everything else that I purchased. So not quite sure. It's one of those things with Walgreens hit or miss. The thing is that you always want to make sure that you know exactly what your number should be at the register, how much you should be paying, and then also know what should be printing for you. So if something doesn't print, you don't leave the store without your money. You simply go over to the manager and let them know, point out the sales tags, the ad, let them know that the Catalina did not print, and hopefully they are nice enough to go ahead and issue you the um, cash rewards in replace of that. So my $5 did not print here when I mix and match, but I did get $5 in Walgreens cash. I purchased three of the same products and my $5 registrable board did print here. Now for my curbside deal, I picked up two of these Nivea's and what I did is I did this deal from within the store. I was already in the store shopping. I pulled up my Walgreens app. I scanned these items in the app to make sure of the online price, but then also to make sure that the online discount code was attaching to these products as well. And then also because I'm doing curbside pickup, I have to make sure that the inventory count for the store that I'm shopping in is correct. So scanning these products in the app, make sure for me to check all of that information. So Nivea is on a month long sale for 25% off and they're on promotion for buy two and you get back $5 in Walgreens cash, which I think may also be a monthly promotion. So there is a code online for whenever you purchase $10 worth of Nivea products, you get $5 off. Now these here were $5.61 total, so a little over $11, taking off $5, so it's basically buy one, get one for free. And again, you get $5 back in Walgreens cash. Now the code is Nivea, that's the code, Nivea. And of course you can use Walgreens cash to pay. So I picked these two up and then also picked up the Colgate toothpaste, which is on sale for $3.99. 
on promotion for buy two and you get five dollars back in walgreens cash and we have a digital coupon for three dollars off of two so i'll pick this all up in my online curbside order and i did shop through ibotta that way it would count towards an offer for my bonus so for all of these items here my subtotal was nineteen dollars and twenty cent minus the digital coupon for three off two on the co game and then minus the discount code for Nivea taking off five dollars that brought me down to eleven dollars and twenty cents i used twenty in walgreens cash and i paid the dollar twenty using a fetch rewards visa gift card Now, one thing I always do whenever I'm placing a curbside order from within the store is I just simply let my manager and or cashier know that, hey, I'm about to place an order. It's going to come in under Michelle. I already have my product. I'm ready when you are to check out. So just a FYI there for you. All right. Next transaction. So we have a promotion on Charmin toilet paper, bounty paper towel, Tide and Downy products. Whenever you purchase four you get back a $6 register reward and they're on sale for $4.99 each. So I picked up these Charmin here. We have a digital coupon for $6 off of three. Subtotal was $19.96 minus the digital coupon for six off three. And then I also used one of those store register rewards for $4 off. That brought me down to $9.96 cents. With tax, it kicked me over 10. I used 10 in Walgreens cash and got back the $6 register reward. One thing I think I forgot to mention is make sure you check Ibotta to see if you have a rebate on the Gillette deodorant. I had a rebate for $1.50 off up to five times, so $3 back on this transaction from Ibotta, and that counts towards one offer for my bonus. All right, so another transaction that gave me a headache or a hiccup for that matter, I shouldn't say headache, a hiccup, is on the Dove. So in my store, the Dove men products are tagged for their regular price, but they're tagged for spend 20 and you get back $5 in Walgreens cash. Alright, so quick side note, I switched to my phone to finish recording the video as my camera battery died on me. So hopefully the video still is cohesive and everything lines up. Anyways, moving on. So the Dove deal. There are other products also included in this promotion. Again, spend 20, get back five. You have Tresemme, Dove Hair Care, Dove Deodorant, as well as Suave products included in this promotion. So one of my stores, again, was tagged with all the men's body wash and bar soap. And then the women's was not tagged. So my first thought was, okay, the women's is not included. Now that first store I was in was completely wiped out of all things Dove, which is to be expected since we just came off of last week's promotion with the Dove products. So ended up at another store. Another store I went to actually had a display. And the display had the Dove deodorant, the women's Dove body wash, as well as the men's body wash and a few other things on the display as well. So at that point, I was like, oh, sweet. So the women's is also included in this spend 20, get back five promotion. So the first transaction, what I did was picked up two of the women's and two of the men's. I am stacking this spend deal on Pacific products with a digital spin booster for spin 20, get back five, as well as I had a paper spin booster for spin 20, get back five. So I'm stacking all of that together. Spin deal on Pacific products and then my two spin boosters. Now the women's dove is $7.79 regular price. So the 25% off coupon does apply. The men's is regular price $6.99, so the 25% off coupon does apply. Side note, if you have not already placed your online order for ship to store, not curbside pickup, ship to store for your 25% off coupon for the month of May, make sure you do so so that you get that coupon as soon as possible. Information on that will be in the pinned comment.
moving on so 25% coupon I use on these items here now I had to buy one get one free coupon you buy any Dove product you get the Dove men's for free all of that together blah 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 use register rewards long story short it did not give me back the five dollars in Walgreens cash so at that point I was like well maybe the women is not included since again at my first store it was only tagged for the men's products so I was like let me try it again why not so I picked up four of just the men products this time I did not use the 25% off coupon instead I used the four dollar off store coupon and then still use my buy one get one coupon so and register rewards etc etc long story short Still did not get back the $5 in Walgreens cash. Not quite sure why. Of course, my store did credit me the $5 because it didn't automatically do it. But I'm not sure why this promotion is not working when it is tagged and it is advertised. Y'all have no idea how hard it is to do a video. Just as I'm getting into it and I'm almost done, Mr. I'm so thirsty, gotta come over here and drink all this water. And mind you, this is not even his water bowl. It's Lola's. So disrespectful. All right, so again, the promotion is tagged in most of my stores, and there's a display. So I'm not quite sure why it's not working. It may just be one of those things because we're getting ready to go into a um, new month. It's Sunday, blah, blah, blah. It just hasn't been activated, not coded. I don't know. I even scanned the products in the app to see if it's also an online promotion. And it did not pull up anything about the spend 20, get back 5. So that is that. I will continue to try this out throughout the week because I still have a ton of those Dove coupons and well I want to go ahead and stock up because Dove sells really really well for me all right so that is everything I have for you if you have questions about anything feel free to leave it for me in the comments always remember to check the pin comment if there's anything I forgot to mention I need to clarify further I will leave in the pin comment for you as well as other resources um, videos etc etc if there's any deals that you did that I did not and you want to share those, please feel free to do so in the comments. It takes a community. Just remember, we're getting into a new month of deals. Make sure you pick up the new monthly booklet. Make sure you place an order to get the 25% off coupon. And that is pretty it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not done so already. And until next time, happy coupon.